Hey guys, Joe here with Volley Maps, and a bunch of you guys have asked me about a tutorial, basically just a, a primer on how to get things set up, and you know when you first get the app. And I'm just going to go through basically how to get set up, how to get started, how to get you guys going, because the best way to learn it is to use it. And if you guys have more questions about more advanced features, uh, you know, tweet me or Facebook message or email me, and maybe I'll do one on some more advanced stuff uh, as we go or as there's demand for that. Uh, so when you first get your, the app started, the screen's going to look like this, and you got your three options. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to go down to the settings and get some things set up. Because here is where you set up the different attack types. So if you're looking at your app, you're going to see mine looks a little different than yours because I've already used this and i got some things set up. Um, so what you can do is you can add new play types over here. You see I've added a bunch of them. And what you can do is if you don't like the presets, which is totally fine, you can just swipe and then you can have the option to delete them entirely or just edit and change your name. So uh, a whole bunch of different things. You can have different types of serves, different types of attacks, and you can even do it by rotation. So the different teams that I've been a part of Sometimes I, I scout more off the different attack types, you know, this is what we call them. Or sometimes I scout it more off the rotations. There's no right or wrong way, whatever you like to do. And you can always edit them or change them or add new ones as you go. So, again, no right or wrong way to do that. Uh, so if you go back to the screen, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is, is scout a new match. So maybe you have it off video or maybe you're about to do it in a live match, but you want to click into that and then you'll get this. So one thing you want to remember is you want to enter the team that you're scouting first. So if you're team blue and you're playing team red, you want to put team red up here at top. And then you want to put team blue second. And that might seem a little confusing when it's your own match, but if you're scouting a, an opponent, uh, you want to just have them sorted in case you want to pull up three or four or five different matches by them later. Uh, it makes it easier to sort. So that's how you want to do that. So here I got it set up and I'm scouting Serbia. That's a team we might play. And here's one thing you can also do as the opponent team. I just put in 2015 Grand Prix. That's a tournament that they just played in as the opponent. So I'm just going to look through video at all of the different matches and kind of put it in one big lump. That makes it a little easier for me to sort. Uh, like I said, there's, there's no right or wrong way. It's however you want to do it. So uh, a whole bunch of coaches have figured out different ways that they like to do it. And you'll experiment and play around with how you like to do it. Uh, so after you get that set up, you want to press and hold down at the bottom where the player numbers are to get them set up for who you want to scout. So if you press and hold on that, you'll get something that looks like this, and you can change the numbers and all of that to get their lineups, just like I have here. And then once you do that, you can start scouting the attacks. So you'll see that here you got a visual representation of the court with the net up at the top and the attack line here a little thicker. And you can use this option to turn the grid lines on or off. Some people like them, some people don't like them whatever your preference is, and uh, then you can get going. And basically what you need to do when you scout an attack is you got to do three things. you got to tap the location on the court where the ball went. Then you got to tap what the play type or serve type was over on the side. And then you tap the player who did it. And you can do that in any order. Personally, I like to tap where the ball went, then I tap the attack type, and then I type the player last. But that's just my preference. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You'll find out however you like. So after you're going through and you've got a bunch of that, you want to visualize your attacks. So when you click on that, you'll see i got a whole bunch of different matches and different ways. And you can see I've labeled these a couple different ways. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Uh, so you, you go that, and then you have a player list. And I just did this real fast. I just did one player and only one type of attack. So you just select on that. You can do it however you want. And then you click down here at heat map. And you wait a few seconds, and you'll get something like this that comes up. And first of all, you got a nice visualization. You can see this player tipped a few, hit a couple sharp, hit a couple line, but mostly right in here, kind of towards the middle or towards the deep angle. And then once you have that, you can do a couple things. First, you can just look at it and take that information. You can come down here and edit the name. And once you do that, you can save it to the camera roll. Um, or then you can go back to the match, or you can go back and visualize some more stuff. Uh, so that's the basic setup of how to set up the settings, and how to record um, any, any new match or scout a new match with a player. Uh, hope that was helpful, and uh, the output will look something like this, which you can then email or save. All right, if you have any other questions, ask me, and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying Volley Maps. Thank you.